So, today's video is a glossy box unboxing and today we're going to be unboxing the January glossy box. Now, last month I didn't manage to get an unboxing for you um, because I was very, very ill. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll no, I was ill from around the 7th of December all the way until the 17th, then on the 17th I went away, came back on the 20th, literally got ill straight away again, and then we had Christmas uh, and New Year's, which is my birthday, so unfortunately we didn't get to do a glossy box unboxing, but we have January's box. Um, January, we're back to the original pretty classic pink colour. So I thought I'd wear pink to match. And if you haven't watched any of my Glossy Box unboxings before, then Glossy Box is a monthly beauty subscription box. They have beauty and skincare products and hair care as well. Um, and it is £10 a month and you get at least £50 worth of products and there are five products in each box so basically it's a great way of trying different things without having to spend so much money every month just to try new things and there is a link in the description with a so that you can get your first monthly box for 20% off so getting it for £8 rather than £10 so we shall be opening this box now usually I have a table next to me but my table is over there and I can't quite reach I don't think or try but I might end up having to balance this on my knee <laughs> we shall see revitalizing and beginning again. So the box this month is the theme sleep and refresh which is actually very appropriate for ASMR. always I will read the editor's note first. It says, Happy New Year Glossies. 2020 is finally here and that means it's time to kickstart your new beauty routine. Filled with five full-size products, our January Sleep and Refresh edit includes everything you need to create a revitalizing ritual to get up and take on the year ahead. Get ready to discover the perfect beauty tool and cosmetics for that refreshing no makeup makeup look as well as complexion boosting skincare that will give you an I woke up like this glow we have a sneaky feeling that some of these beauty gems will become your new favourites lovely I can already see some things that are going to be perfect for me because I'm going away in three days which is crazy um so I always like to take some new things with me, so let's undo the ribbon. I'm just going to do the tissue paper 
Ooh. Okay, there we go. We have a little extra in here. So I'm pick up the extra first. Because I love these things. I've never tried this flavour before. But we have a naked sour salted caramel raw fruit and nut bar. And I my favourite ones are the chocolate orange, the ones that I kind of like go to. So I've never tried this one before. I'm assuming it must be new. Yeah it is new, it's a new flavour. And these are really good for you. Um they are really good for kind of a good bit of sugar fix but without having all of the nasty kind of ingredients that go in with it. Um, so it's purely made from fruit and nuts so you're also getting some really good natural fats as well. Um, some people eat these as protein bars and that's not what you should do. They don't actually have a lot of protein in them. And get the ingredients up. That's per 100 grams, isn't it? 35 grams. Yeah, see, there's only 3 grams of protein in here. Um, they're not a protein source, um, so they're not a they're not a post-workout snack. Um, they're more of a pre-workout snack to kind of get you that sugar fix to kind of um, you know give you the carbs to do your exercise. And also curb on the cravings as well. These are really, really nice, so I can't wait to try that one. Should I try it now? No, I'm not gonna try it now because I wanna keep it because I wanna put it in my travel home bag. Because that'll be a nice snack on the plane actually. And it's really nice crinkly sound as well. This has 53% dates, 19% raisins, 14% cashews, 14% peanuts and 1% Cornish sea salt and that's it um, guilt free and delicious cold pressed, never baked and no added sugar or syrups and this counts as one of your 5 a day which I didn't know, it is 100% vegan and it is also gluten and dairy free gluten, wheat and dairy free so, yummy let me see if there's a description for it No, there isn't. So that's a little extra. I don't know if that's just a little extra for me or whether it's a little extra for everybody. But they are delicious. Either way. <laughs> okay, uh, let's move on to the actual products now. So the first thing we have here is a Model Co Clear Brow Gel. the little tube. Okay. Just smells normal. Um, this might not be the best idea because I've already filled my eyebrows in. Um, might be a really bad idea. You're meant to do this before you fill them in, by the way. Otherwise you get brown on your brush, but I, I'm breaking the rules. Kind of gives you that um, bushy boy brow kind of look that's really popular. It's funny, isn't it? That back in the 90s, it was like 
pin thin brows and now it's like bushy messy ones I don't even pluck my eyebrows because I don't feel like you need to anymore um, you can see oh that looks quite nice actually <sighs> I should do the other one now shouldn't I otherwise I'm gonna look weird um, what was I saying yeah it's weird that it they, we used to have fashions of um, really thin brows, and now we're going to really thick ones. And I bet you anything, now that it's the 20s, I bet that we'll have um, thin eyebrows come back. Maybe in about three or four years. I'm excited to kind of see, you know, what trends we make. In the 2020s because um, yeah we we've had a few like interesting um, trends in the noughties and the tens 2010s uh, but not anything that I can like think wow that really stands out I guess in the noughties like we had a lot of um, what do you call them <laughs> like really drastic highlights with her. Like, I remember seeing, like, loads of celebrities with, like, uh, really, really blonde, um, like, streaks highlight, like, skull kind of, skull, skunk kind of hair. That's what I can think of when I think of the 2000s. Uh, what about 2010s? There was a big trend with, like, everyone at some point wore vans and everyone wore, con wore converse at one at least being a teenager. Um, I guess the, the 2010s were like the years where people actually learn how to do makeup. Like, um, you know, growing up, when I grew up, I had my very first foundation was, I'm pretty sure it was L'Oreal, L'Oreal Fit Me Foundation. And it was like a, it was like a paint roller. And then you had the like solid foundation and you roll it and then apply didn't like apply a bit and then blend it out. I would just roll it all onto my face and I look like a tangerine because it wasn't my colour either. You know when like um, foundation companies label foundation as 100 ivory but ivory is so so different compared like comparatively depending on what brand you pick and L'Oreal ivory is orange as hell. So um I used to just walk around like a like an orange and then I put a bit of mascara on and that was it. <laughs> so 2010 has been the year where people have actually learned how to do makeup. Anyway, um, I will read the description for the Model Co. It says, Clear brow gel. Embrace a refreshing no makeup makeup look with this vegan and cruelty free clear eyebrow gel. You can either use it to shape your brows or hold the hairs in place for a clean polished look or apply it over an eyebrow pencil or powder to set the colour. Oh, okay, so I can do what I just did. Um, either way, its lightweight formula will keep your brows looking flawless all day long, and that is £14. Cool, okay. I think that'll be handy on holiday. Okay, next we have the <laughs> by the, I think it's by the said this before, I think that bye B sounds like Austin Powers saying baby, like bye B. <laughs> anyway, this is the bye B Strawberry Booster 100% Cold Pressed Strawberry Seed Oil. Oh, interesting. So is it just a facial oil from like a moisturiser or is it a facial oil like a cleanser? Because you can have oil cleansers, can't you? But I think it's a, just a facial oil because I'm pretty sure we've got a cleanser. Strawberry booster. This is high content of omega fatty acids. Make this a powerful skin softener to regenerate and improve the skin for moisture levels. Oh, I like the internal packaging.
go with a very pink theme this month, aren't we? So we'll see, we'll try it and we'll see. Okay. Next we have basic beauty tweezers. And again, pink. You can always do with a new pair of tweezers. Like they'll put some things in where I would never spend that money on something. Okay, 
this I'm excited about. I like Beauty Pro face masks. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know, like, in all of my, pretty much all of my, um, spa videos, I always use Beauty Pro or, um, Vita Masks. So this is the CBD Oil Infused Sheet Mask. It has CBD, lavender, and rosehip. It nourishes and soothes stressed skin and is rich in antioxidants. I have, believe it or not, although there's like a massive trend of CBD oils and things, I've never tried anything with it in. Never tried anything. Um, I don't like the smell of cannabis, so I'm assuming it doesn't smell like that. I have no idea. I've never done drugs. I've got no idea what smells like what or whatever. I don't know. Um, but yeah. I'm assuming it wouldn't. I'm assuming it's not the CBD that smells of it. I'm assuming it's something else within the plant. But anyway, um, that's just my. I'm 23 and I'm so naive. Uh, okay, so you wear this for 15 minutes. It is 100% plant origins and it is cruelty free and vegan. And if you put it in like a paperish kind of packet, I don't think it's actually. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I don't think the actual packet is recyclable. But the sheet mask is biodegradable bamboo, so that's good. So it means it that will break down. Okay, I'm not going to take it out obviously because that would be a waste. But we'll read the description. It says, even if you haven't had your full eight hours, you'll still have glowing skin thanks to this biodegradable bamboo sheet mask, infused with anti-inflammatory cannabis. Cannabid oil? Cannabid oil? I don't know. <laughs> it helps restore, uh, calm and soothe your complexion while also evening out your skin tone and reducing the appearance of blemishes. Apply it onto cleansed skin for 15 to 20 minutes then generally remove and massage any excess serum onto your face. And this recommended retail price is £5.99 and I will be bringing that on the plane with me because fully plan um, on taking all of my makeup off, um, sleeping on the plane, and then doing my makeup before I get there. Because usually I don't do that, and then I end up feeling like crap. I feel really, really dehydrated. I feel like I look rubbish when I get off the plane. I always look really ill. So um, I'm gonna like proper pamper myself and do a full face of makeup when I come off the plane. Okay, and then finally, something else I in my carry-on because it's 100 mils, so I can. This is the Kueshi Double Effect Makeup Remover, cleansing and calming for eyes and sensitive areas. But I'm assuming you can use it for all your face. I assume. Is it got oil in it? Because if it's got oil in it, I can't use it. Waterproof. Rich in soft oils, yeah. Okay, so. I can't use this. Um, I could use it on my face if I do it carefully, um, but can't use oil makeup removers around my eyes because it will encourage the eyelashes to come off. And we're not about that life. Um, so maybe I will give this to somebody else, or maybe I'll just wait until I don't have my eyelash extensions on. I don't know. I am getting rid of them um, next month because I have a headshot and showreel appointment and I need to be natural um, so I'm gonna have my eyelash extensions taken off um, so I'm currently using um, Nourish Lash to try and make my natural lashes grow a bit so we'll see how well that works but at the end of the day when you are doing acting and stuff you're selling yourself naturally um, because they need you to see you as a blank canvas so that they can add you for a character rather than um, having to take things away for a character. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Okay. Anyway, you can physically see, you can see the droplets of 
oil in it because obviously water and oil won't mix so they are actually separate so the, I'm assuming the assuming the blue is the water and the oil is the, the white stuff so let me shake it up there you can see it mixing but it won't fully mix you can just see that there's lots of droplets in it I find that really cool I want to smell it Double effect makeup remover. It says, Did you know that sleeping with makeup on can cause breakouts and premature aging? Yes, I do, and I'm still guilty of it. I'm sure a lot of you probably are as well. I try my best. Um, well, this gentle makeup remover will ensure that you continue to wake up with a fresh, youthful looking face, formulated to wash away waterproof and long lasting makeup. It's clear, oily face and removes makeup without leaving any greasy residue. Whilst its blue lotion um, face refreshes and cleanses your skin. Simply shake, apply to cotton and sweep all over your face. This is £10.30, which is expensive for a little bottle. Um, I usually use Garnier micellar water for uh, makeup remover. And you can get like a bottle like this big for like a fiver. So I use that. I'll power to you. Anyway, that's the that's the goodness of glossy boxes. You get to try things that you wouldn't usually spend your money on. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will say my favourite thing is probably the clear eyebrow gel, the face mask, and the naked bar. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're interested in getting a glossy box, the link and the code will be down in the description to get twenty percent off of your first box. Um watching. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful night's sleep. Thank you so much for being here, subscribing, and supporting me, and good night. God bless, sweep well, and sweet dreams.